Sometimes things can happen that get little monsters and people really, really mad. Hey, that makes me mad. What? It was an accident. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. Angry feelings can take over and all of a sudden, anger can make you do or say hurtful things. It can make you want to hit someone, break something, or call someone names that aren't so nice. But that doesn't have to happen, because you can control anger. Let's find out how. Katie was having a snack with her friend, when all of a sudden, a ball bounced on the table and knocked Katie's drink over. Katie was mad. When Billy came over to get his ball, Katie let her angry feelings out. Can I have my ball back? Look what you did. It was an accident. You did it on purpose. No, I didn't. Katie is mad and her anger is in charge. Her anger is in control of what she's saying and doing. You did it on purpose. No, I didn't. You're stupid. You're stupid. When your anger is in control, you can say and do hurtful things and it's not safe for you or anyone else. How could Katie get control? What could she have done? Let's find out. The juice still spills. Katie still gets angry, but Katie knows what anger feels like. Her muscles get tight, she breathes faster, and her tummy aches. So this time, Katie can catch her angry feelings. I feel the angry energy in my body, but I'm not gonna let it get out. This isn't such a big deal, and it's just an accident. Katie is able to catch her angry feelings. Now she's in charge, not her anger. Hey, can I have my ball back? I knocked my drink over. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I'm sure it was, it just made a mess. I'm really sorry. That's okay, it was an accident. Thanks! How do you know when you're angry? You have to learn how anger feels inside your body. Angry energy begins to fill up in your body. 